All right, so um, you should make sure that you have this sheet right here, vocab and practice for Learning Target 4.1. It's going to be located on the green cabinet in the back. So make sure you've grabbed that. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're just going to walk you through some of the vocab and stuff in the beginning here. And then we're going to maybe do one um, problem with you. And then we are going to... Um, then we're going to let you practice the rest of them, right? So let's just start out with this. What is the vertex of a quadratic function, all right? Now we um, talked about that yesterday in some, some notes, and, and we kind of walked you through that a little bit, and you got to practice it just a little bit on your calculator. Um, but I want to make this kind of formalized right here. So what is the vertex of a quadratic function, right? The vertex is the highest or lowest point of the parabola. Okay. It is where the graph changes direction. So <coughs> if you think about it, if it's opening down like this one, that's going to be the vertex. If it's opening up like this one, that's going to be the vertex. All right. So <coughs> The next thing we want to talk about is what are the solutions or zeros of a quadratic function, all right? Now, if you remember this from um, previous stuff in math courses, all right, <coughs> the um, solutions or zeros are the x-intercepts. And like we're talking about, if you remember this from previous um, previous lessons, you'll remember that the x-intercepts are where y equals 0. So it's where y equals 0. So if we were to um, just kind of sketch one right on here, there's a coordinate plane, and if we sketched a parabola on here, right, this right here, and this right here are solutions. Okay, where they cross the x axis. All right, so now the question is a quadratic function can have at most how many solutions and at least how many solutions? All right, so if I've got a quadratic function <coughs> that looks kind of like this and I were to put it on the graph right right now it's gonna have two solutions one here and one here right if I were to slide it up we could slide it all the way up and would it ever cross the x-axis And the answer would be no it would never cross this x-axis right here right but we can also slide it down and if it just touches the x-axis once it's gonna have one solution so at most it can have two solutions and at the least it can have zero solutions so you'll come across some quadratics um, where the parabola that they create will cross twice you will come across some that will cross zero times and like we just said you'll come across some where it will cross or just touch once not necessarily even cross so I'm going to highlight the x-axis on these graphs right here all right and then what i want you to do is draw a sketch of each of those i'm going to give you a second to do that